Well, I am so glad that all of you artists are joining me today. Hello, hello. This is our Mighty Art Monday with, with uh, me, Mr. Mark. And we're going to be drawing four awesome drawings. Remember, if you guys want to draw more with me, make sure you get in my book for your family. You can draw in 30 days. This is one of my 14 books that you guys can choose from Amazon.com. Remember, uh, your family can friend me on Facebook. Look for the three birds to friend me. Now, kids, don't you friend me. This is for your family, your mom and your dad to friend me. If you children friend me, I'll ignore your requests. And I'm not being rude. I'm just being a papa. I'm just being a dad saying, hey, don't friend me. You kids don't belong on Facebook without your parents. All right, so here's what we did earlier. These are our four drawings we did earlier. We did Bob. Bob's ears, a simpler version, Bob's mountains, and Bob's saxophone, and Bob's candle. Well, this hour, we're going to kick up the level of difficulty. It's going to be really cool. Now, I'll tell you the story about Bob and the multi-ears and where Bob lives and Bob's saxophone. We're going to build a whole story in Bob's fancy candle. And so let's start. You have your blank piece of paper. Well, let's start with Bob's ears. So we'll start here. I'm going to put two, a dot right in the middle of my paper, put a dot right in the very middle, and very lightly, using whisper lines here, watch this, using whisper lines, just very lightly draw the four territories, okay? Now, when you have your four territories here, let's start right up here in square number one. I'm going to zoom my, my uh, camera in here so you can see it right here in square number one. Now, uh, Bob is kind of uh, I'm moving see I have two cameras going here so I'm gonna adjust that camera so we can see that one too all right now we're gonna start right here now instead of putting Bob right in the middle all my uh, last past lessons like for instance here's the the marshmallow lesson with the marshmallow drawings I I put the marshmallows right in, in the middle and for the marshmallow hotel I put it right in the middle of the scene and for the flying marshmallow guy, I put him right in the middle of the paper right here. Now, what what my, my past students uh, who animate movies, a lot of my past students, they worked on movies like they did, you know, like How to Train Your Dragon and Baymax and Despicable Me. And they worked on movies like uh, like Kung Fu Panda. hi -ya! Uh what, what they have encouraged me to do in their emails, I, I just enjoy their emails so much, is they like to encourage me to put make my drawings a little more dynamic, to take my drawings like away from the very middle of the lesson, like I always teach you guys, and to have my drawings coming off the side a little bit over here, or maybe maybe coming, you know, up here, just, just have, you know, more of a comic book kind of a panel rather than having it right smack in the middle. So that's what we're going to do today with our, with Bob, and we're going to have Bob's character coming out from the bottom, so make it a little more dynamic. These are your finger and you go dynamic, like, like, uh, uh, parentheses now, or quote marks. I'm going to put Bob's face down below here toward the bottom, and then, now, Bob's inspired from the character Shrek. One of my alumni students from many years ago, he's one of the character animators for Shrek. And I just was so, so, I love Shrek, and I love the fact that one of my students went on to be one of the character designers, that I created a character, kind of a salute to hit to Shrek. And this is Bob. So I'm going to give Bob some eyes. I'm going to put eyes right here. Here's Bob, Bob Shrek's cousin. So draw Bob's eyes. I'm going to draw very lightly to begin with. We'll draw very, very lightly, and then we'll build it from there. Kind of whisper lines, whisper, whisper. And then put a line right here. I'm going to have the ears coming out of here. And we're going to have, see what I do? We're going to have many ears, right? We're going to have multiple ears and Bob's eyes. So I'll put these two ears coming out from the, from the side of the head, and these will be further back behind the fur. So along here... I'm going to taper this this first set of ears coming back. Bob has many ears. If two ears are good, then five are even better, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So let's taper back here. And then from this side, let's taper this back over here. <clears throat> and so we have our first set of ears. And I'm going to, I may have put three, may have put five. Just depends on how many you want to do. And then down, down along underneath the eye, let's block in that. We're going to have his 
kind of a snout that's coming up over his eye. So we blocked it in real light, really light. And then we're going to add some more detail. All right. And I just want to, again, I want to thank you guys for spending your hour, your hour on Monday, your hour of pencil power. I hope this is the most creative, the best hour of your week of drawing in 3D with me. So on the bottom here, let's put uh, planned randomness. Let's use some texture. Use some texture here. Texture, texture, texture. Texture, texture. Some big and some small, and you wrote, and you wrote, wrote uh, see that? You rotate it and you use a variety. Now take your eraser. We have our eraser. We have our stompy. We have our pencil. This is our kit we have here, and our, our, uh, and our uh, brush to brush off the crumbs, right? That's, that's all you need. That and this good sketchbook. Now, again, I always recommend you guys get the sketchbook with the spiral mind with a solid cover. So you can draw these lessons and keep them all together nice and neat. All right, so let me zoom this camera in just a bit here. And you guys, let's darken, let's detail that in. Let's put these eyes, I'm gonna draw these eyes here and then draw the pupils. He's gonna be looking over, checking out the what's going on over there to, the, to his left, right? It's gonna be a bunch of mountains over here. Now when you darken in the eyes, let's draw the Draw the uh, reflection. That's a great word. This is the pupil. Let's darken it in here. So we use texture at the bottom. We blocked it in lightly with whisper light lines. And we start, we're going to, this whole lesson will have a theme. This will be Bob's day or Bob's adventure. Bob, here he is. We're going to meet Bob and then we're going to go into Bob's mountains to his home. Then Bob's going to play some music on his jazz saxophone and then when Bob, Bob has to have a candle up in his house. When he wants to read, he has to have a candle. We're going to draw a really fancy candle. So you guys, you, you uh, geniuses, you girls and boys, you guys are the author illustrators of the next century. So you're going to be uh, the movie directors of the next century. This could be like a movie panel of different storyboards, different camera shots. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now let's do the same thing right here. Let's put some texture, some fur, where the ears come out of the side of the head here. So put some big, some small, some left, some right. We'll kind of put that planned randomness, a little organized chaos. All right, looking good. And then let's, uh, let's draw the four shortened circle at the top of the ear. That's a squish shape. I'm going to squish that to make it look 3D. And then up here... We're gonna squish this to make this look 3D. See, draw that nice four shortened circle. Isn't that cool? Here, I'm gonna see if I can zoom this one in so we can see it even better. There, that looks cool. All right, now, let's taper this down. Let's taper this down, it looks cool. And then over here, I'm gonna taper this one down here. And taper this one down. Hope you guys are having, give me a thumbs up. What do you guys think? Do you love Bob with his ears so far? Here's Bob, and then along the top, let's use planned randomness, organized chaos, that wonderful oxymoron to describe drawing hair. I use the same thing when I'm drawing trees or grass or fur or puff clouds, some big, some small, some left, some right. So there's furry Bob, Shrek's cousin, or it could be Shrek, Shrek's pet. All right, looking cool. Love it, love it, love it. And then, so we have, we just have uh, two here. So let, let's do another. I'm going to do one big one back here in the back. Let's taper it. It's thin here and it gets wider as, as it goes back. Now, I did one lesson where I had over 100 Bob's ears. I had I did this Bob character, and then I had 100 ears coming out of here. What do you guys think? Give me thumbs up, thumbs down for that. Wouldn't that be a fun one to do? You guys adding your own ideas. That's the fun part, right? So let's draw a four shortened circle here. And I can't wait to see what, what you, what kind of stories you create, what kind of movies you create. Let's taper this down. I'm defining it. See, I'm darkening the detail. Darken, darken, darken. Now the sun's, the sun's from up here, right? The sun's coming from up here on the top left. So I'm going to, let me move that over a little bit here. Whoops, move that camera down. I'm gonna take the sun's up here. So I'm gonna shade 
the side. So I'm going to put a little arrow. Where's the sun coming from? Sun's coming from that direction right there. And sun's coming from over here, right? From this side. Uh, sun's coming over here. So let's shade the side of the ear. And then we'll take our wonderful stompy. This is where your 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 little stompy, and the more you the see that the more pencil lead that it gets on it, the more residual lead, the better it's gonna be. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. The sun's over here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow inside here to make it hollow. A little bit of shadow inside here. Sun's coming down over here. Let's shade the side. Shade, shade, shade. And now on a round object, we're going to blend the shading. This, These are round curved shapes. The sun's over here coming down. On a round object, we're going to blend the shading. On a square object, we're going to make it a solid shading. Okay, sun's above here, so let's shade in here to make it look hollow, to make it look really cool in 3D. I love it. Okay, now... Let's put, right away, I'm going to put a little darkness under the eyes. A little, uh, all the nook and cranny, a little bit in between the eyes. I'm going to put a little bit of darkness in here, then we'll blend it out. But that darkness will be a nice contrast. It's going to give it a value, see, a darker value to make that lighter value of the eye really pop, really pop out. Pop, pop, pop. All right, so I'll take your pencil. And let's blend it. See this? Let's blend it across here. Look at this. Let's blend this. I love using the Stompy, you guys. I love using... Now, for all of you Mighty Art Mondays up there that are watching me on Mighty Art Mondays Live, um, for those of you who are watching this um, on the, uh, the, the, the recordings at markkistlerlive.com, be sure to tune in on Mondays with me live. It's really fun to, to, to have you live with me. I love to see your comments. I'm going to open up the text box. And I want to see I want to see how you guys are doing. Send me a text. What do you, how do you like this lesson so far? Now, remember if you guys are interested in uh, being part of our live classes, go to markkistler.com. Click online drawing lessons. And then you go to Mark Kistler Live and sign up. We always have wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, discounts for you guys to draw with me. We'd love to have you guys join us and draw with us. All right, so there's Bob. Looking pretty cool there. Looking pretty cool. Cody just texted me saying, awesome. And Cameron loves this lesson so far. Cool. So there's Bob with three ears. Now, we could add, you could just add hundreds and hundreds of ears if you want to. Um, you know what? Let's just add. Why not? You know what? I think I'll put two smaller ones back here. Watch. I'm going to put a little small one. Another four shortened circle. Look at why not? We'll have five ears. Why not? If three ears are good, five ears are better. Draw another four shortened circle. I kind of like the symmetry going here. Sometimes you want to look, make it look symmetrical, and sometimes you want to make it look asymmetrical. If we do a line down the side, it's exactly the same on both sides, so we're making our drawing look very symmetrical. It's very pleasing to the eye. And your eye also likes uh, unbalanced drawings, too. What do you see? Wait till we uh, draw the mountains and the saxophone. All right, so the light's coming from the top right up here. So let's shade opposite. Light's up here. Let's shade over here. Sun's up here. Let's shade down the side here. Shade, shade, shade. And now, of course, I love the Stompy. I'm going to use the residual uh, lead that... See, these... The new one, I have a new one and I have a used one. I always grab my used one because the used ones are so much better. Look at this. I have, look at all these ones I have here. Look at, I have th these different sizes. See that? And I always go for the one that's the most used because it has, I can have the most uh, residual pencil lid on it. And look at, I can come back over here and I can use use it to shade the whole edge and under the eye. Look, I'm not even using a pencil. I'm just using the leftover pencil lead on the stompy. Isn't that fun? Stump love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna I'm gonna tone in that whole side away from the light. <coughs> Excuse me. Now there's one more here to use your stompy, your blending tools like a paintbrush. You're mushing the shadow to make it blend it. Now if we were drawing a box shape, we wouldn't be doing the blending. Well this is really cool, you guys. I love it, love it, love it. Just want to tell you real quick again if you guys wanted to get one of my art cards. Okay, you can get a f one free art card per family. Send a self-addressed envelope to the address that's in the contact tab at markkistler.com. 
Uh, if you want to get a whole collection of them, I have 54 different ones. Uh, send $20, and I appreciate your support in the business. I'm a working artist, so I appreciate that. And if, if you buy my art, thank you, thank you, thank you. All the instructions are in the contact tab or in my art gallery. Pick the art gallery. All right, well, um, that finished our first drawing. And we're going to go on to our second drawing. We have four drawings to do here today on our Mark Kistler Live uh, on <laughs> MarkKistlerLive.com on Mighty Art Mondays.